Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning to all of you. How are you all doing? Great too? Good? That's very great. Yes, I'm also good. Alhamdulillah. Welcome back after the weekend. And finally, we have started with week 18th of our classes, right? So, in today's class, we will be starting with a new unit. That is unit number 5. Okay? So, in unit number 5, we will learn about the time and date, right? Now, the time and date, in the time and date, you will just not learn that what is time and what is date. There are a lot of things which are being linked with it. Let's say when we talk about date, we will learn about the calendar. When we talk about the time, we will learn how what is analog clock, what is digital clock, what is the difference between the two, how we can read and write time, what are the different specific terms which are being used to uh, read out time. Let's say what does half past mean, what does quarter past mean, what does quarter two mean. So we will learn about all of these terms together and then it would become very easier for you to tell somebody the time and somebody asks you that let's say, Abdullah, can you please tell me what time it is? So you would be able to tell the time, right? Okay. So without wasting any time, let's start with our today's class. And today's class, we will start with a very interesting activity. The activity is, first tell me, <coughs> how many months do we have in a year? First we have in a year. How many months do we have in a year? 12 months, excellent. How many days do we have in a month? 30 days. Very good. Now, this is the average term. Sometimes we have 31 as well, right? Okay. How many hours do we have in a day? 24 hours. Very good. How many hours do we have from midday? till midnight okay let's learn it okay just leave it how many minutes do we have in an hour 60 minutes very good and how many seconds do we have in a minute again 60 seconds now, this is something which is important, which is the basic and that you should learn. If somebody does not know this, just raise your hand and ask me the question related to it. We have 12 months in a year and every month has 30 days. Now, this is average. Let's say in February, we have 28 or 29 days. In some months, we have 31 days. So, this is an average term that we use that we have 30 days in a month, okay? Then if we talk about the hours, we have, how many hours do we have in each day? So we have 24 hours. Now, how many minutes do we have in an hour? So we have 60 minutes. Now, if we talk about how many seconds do we have in every minute? So we have, again, 60 seconds. You are supposed to memorize this, right? Now, let's move forward. Look at this clock. This is an analog clock, right? Look at this clock carefully. Now look at there again. How many hours do we have? 24, right? So do the digits on this clock start from 1 till 24? No, they're not till 24. How many of them are there? Only 12. This means that when these are when these hands will complete the rotation twice one day will pass because 12 plus 12 equals to 24 right so when it starts from 12 and it completes one whole rotation this means that mid from midnight to midday this means that half of the day has been passed or if somebody asks you that how many hours do we have from midnight to midday what would be your answer 12 hours got it then again it will start from 12 and it will complete one whole rotation now how many hours do we have from midday to midnight again 12 excellent let me write it for you so that it become easier for you to understand this look at here
we have a total of 24 hours right first it starts from midnight from midnight to midday how many hours do we have 12 then from midday to midnight again how many hours do we have 12 and this 12 plus 12 together makes 24 right so on the clock we do not have the digits does not we do not have the digits till 24 we have only till 12 and when the hours when the hands complete the rotation twice this means that one day has been passed got it okay now if we okay before uh, learning about the reading time let's watch an interesting video related to that together and then we will move forward okay okay look at there hello children have you seen the clock on the wall in your room and in the house everywhere it tells us the time it shows us three things hour minute and the seconds the slimmest needle is for the seconds it rotates around the clock 60 times to make up one minute and the longest fat needle is the minute it rotates another 60 times to make up an hour and the small fat one is the hourly clock we have to be efficient and that's why we always see a small clock put down on a table in the office and in the school it's really good to read the clock okay so in this video they have basically teach you about how does a clock looks like what are in the clock that basically tells us about the time so look at this clock carefully how many needles do, do uh, can you see in this three a total of three right the first one is the smallest needle this smallest needle is known as our hand because it tells us about what R it is, right? Then we have the second one, which looks similar to this R needle, but it is bigger in the size, right? This is known as minute hand. It basically tells us about the minutes, how many minutes have been passed, right? Then we have this slimmest, longest needle, which is known as the second hand and it tells us about how many seconds have been passed right now if you look at this clock you can observe that only the second hand keeps on rotating and the rest of two are at their places when this needle will complete one whole rotation this will move a little forward which means that one minute have been passed and when this will complete one whole rotation this R needle will move to the next digit, right? So how many hands do we have in a clock? Three. What are they? R hand, minute hand and second hand, right? Through which we come to know about the time. Okay. Now I want all of you to please open your book page number 89. This is page number 89. On this page, there are a few terms which are being given and which we are supposed to learn in order to read time. Let's say this is a clock, right? 
starts from 12. Over here we have 6, 3, and 9, okay? Now, whenever the needle, the smallest needle, which basically tells us about the R. When the smallest needle or the R hand will point toward any of the digits and the longest, the long fat needle, which is basically the minute hand, will point toward 12, this means that it is one complete R. Like, let's say you will call this as, or the second needle would be somewhere here. Now, you will call this as 3 o'clock, right? Similarly, if instead of 3, it will point toward over here, which is 5, you will call it as 5 o'clock. Similarly, if it will point toward 9, it will call as 9 o'clock. Again, if it will point toward 10, you will call it as 10 o'clock. Now, what is similar in all of these, that this minute hand will always point toward 12, which means that it is one complete hour. One hour has been passed and now the next will start. And how do we read this? 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6, 7 and so on. Right? Now let's talk about the opposite of it. What if instead of 12, this minute hand points toward 6? Okay, I'm not uh, making the second, need, uh, the second hand so that it does not confuse you, right? So just look at the minute and hour hand. What if instead of 12, this points toward 6? This means that half hour has been passed, right? It starts from here and complete one. So this is the half of it. So when it will point toward 6, this means half hour has been passed. And how do we read time? Now this would be half past 10, right? Similarly, if it instead of 10 points toward 8, half past 8. If instead of 8, it points toward 3, the R hand will keep on rotating, but the minute hand would be exactly towards 6. This means half past 3. Got it? First, we have learned about one complete R. At that time, the minute hand will point toward 12. Now, we have learned about half past time. And at that time, the minute hand will point toward 6, right? Okay, let's move forward. What if the minute hand points toward 3? First, we have learned about these two. Now, we will learn about these two digits. The digits which are written over here, right? We are basically learning about this. These are the basic terms. What if the minute hand always points toward 3? What would be the time? We will call it as quarter past. That the quarter of time has been passed. What is the quarter portion? This portion. This is quarter. This. Only 15 minutes. So when it will point toward this means that quarter past 6. Right? when the short hand will be toward any of the digit and the minute hand will point toward 3, this means it is quarter past that R. Let's say quarter past 6, quarter past 8, <coughs> quarter past 1, quarter past 2, 3 and so on. Got it? Now let's move forward. What if this minute hand points toward 9? What would be the time? This means quarter 2. When it was pointing toward 3, you said it as quarter past. When it will be toward 9, it means quarter 2. This is quarter to 2. 
quarter to three, quarter to four, quarter to five. Now in this time or in this manner, when it will be pointing toward nine, you will basically talk about the next digit. When it is pointing toward one, now at this time, it will not be pointing exactly toward one. It would be somehow closer to two because it is going to be two after 15 minutes, right? So you will be calling it as quarter to two, quarter to three. You will talk about the next digit. Got it? Is it confusing? Don't worry. We will learn it together. We will practice it again and again and then it will become easier for you. Okay. First, when it will point toward 12, this means this is one complete hour. When it will point toward 6, this means that half past that hour. Right. When it will point toward 3, this means that quarter past that hour. And when it will point toward 9, this means quarter to the next digit. Got it? Okay, so now what I want you is to make a clock. Let's do an activity. Draw a clock on your notebook and show the time. Quarter past seven. Hurry up. Take out your notebooks. We will practice all of them one by one and it will become easier for you. Okay, so don't get confused. Just make a clock and then show it to me. Let me know when you are done. Are you done, Elise? Show it to me. Excellent. What about you, Ahmed? Quarter past mean that the minute hand will be pointing toward three. Very good. Okay. All of you are done. Okay. Excellent. Do revise it at your home and, uh, you know, ask somebody to, uh, to, uh, to listen to you or to ask you about the time. Ask your parents to, to help you out reading the time and let me know if you have any confusion we will do it together we will resolve it together it's not a big deal so don't worry okay so hope you guys enjoyed the lecture do share this video with others because it's free learning i'll be seeing you tomorrow take care Allah first